What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of something we have never seen before. For years, this has been what cameras have looked like. This is what we expect cameras to look like. It's got a lens, it's got a body, and you shoot with it. However, the folks at Lightyear are hoping that this is what you're going to think cameras look like. This is a totally new kind of camera with a totally new look. It uses something called light field technology. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, it's the first of its kind and what we're hoping is going to be a brand new trend in photography. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this guy up. All right, so here is the Lytro camera in its, I guess now familiar looking, white cardboard box. Picture of the camera on the front, Lytro on the side, camera lens looking at you, and some specs on the back. Uh, this guy is going to run you $399 for the 8 gigabyte version that I've got right here. There's also a 16 gig version for $499. Uh, the 8 gig comes in graphite or electric blue, which we've got right here. And if you want to up it to 16, you can get a red hot looking one. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. I'm going to use my unboxing scissors of fury to cut the seal. So we had a chance to first take a look at the Lightro at CES, and our own camera editor, Mike Perlman, was giddy with excitement. Uh, it takes a lot to make him very excited. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up, and then this camera is going to be off to Mike for full testing. I've actually never seen one of these in person, so I am uh, very excited. Well, that's pretty cool packaging. Uh, and there is the Lightro presented very nicely. It's been said that it looks kind of like a lipstick package or something, but this is a not what we think of when we think of digital cameras. Put that off to the side for just a second, see what else we're going to get in the box. We've got a Lytro book, which I don't generally read quick start guides, but considering I have never seen anything like this before, I may actually give one of these guys a read. We'll pull this top part off and see what else we're going to have in the accessory pouch, and then we'll get right to the camera, I promise, because that's where all the exciting stuff uh, happens. So what do we have? We've got a cable, micro USB. We've got a magnetic cover for the lens, and we have wrist strap and cleaning case. Great. Push all that business off to the side. Let's take a look at the light drone. There's a lot to talk about uh, with this guy. It goes that way. Uh, so first, it uses something called light field technology. If you ever use a digital camera, you take a picture, you know, you have to focus. You snap a picture, and then what you see either in the uh, digital viewfinder, optical viewfinder, is what your image is going to look like. Uh, not so with this. What this means is you essentially snap a picture, and you can refocus on anything in that frame uh, after the fact. So it's sort of a strange approach, something we've really never seen before. And we're not talking about megapixels with this camera. We're talking about mega rays. That's the number of light rays captured, and this guy is 11. It also has an 8 times optical zoom. Again, is going to come in 8 or 16 gig configurations. And it weighs pretty light, 7.55 ounces. Uh, so let's take a look at what we're going to have on the camera. First, that's the shutter button right there. Go ahead and push it, and that's going to take a picture. And I believe that also is going to turn it on. If you want to zoom, you can't see it. But you actually just rove your finger across here, and then you can start zooming. Uh, when you want to take a picture, you're going to be relying on that teeny tiny uh, little optical viewfinder there uh, to take your picture. Uh, unfortunately, though, you have to edit the pictures using Lightroom's proprietary software. You can focus on what you want, snap your picture, and you can save it as a JPEG, uh, or you can share them on Facebook. Uh, you're still using the Lightroom software, so people can refocus on all kinds of different stuff. Uh, pretty neat, and something we really, again, haven't seen before. So to zoom, go ahead, there's a little touch sensitive strip at the top. I just zoom in and out, take advantage of that eight times optical zoom there. So here's a picture of it from the side. I mean, I'm wondering if you go out on the street, if you ask people what this was, that they would even know. Obviously, there's the lens. So the strap's going to go, a little spot on the bottom for uh, power. And that's where, obviously, the micro USB charging and syncing is going to live. We've got the magnetic lens cap, which just snaps right on. Uh, I'm going to hold off on judgment and opinion until I've had a chance to play with it and send it off to Mike Perlman. But it is a very cool technology. And we may be looking at the first step in the future of digital photography. And I want to be very excited how to take a look at. So what do you guys think about the Lightyear? Are you excited? Not excited? You'd rather have cameras that look like normal cameras or something that looks sort of bizarre like this guy? Uh, anyway, love to hear what you think. I'm John Rattinger from Techno Buffalo. And I will see you and focus on you after the fact in the next video. Bye-bye.